Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Diamantia. This is a city in City Skylines I built, uh, what is it, six years ago? Could that be right? Really, I think the last time I entered this save was some five years ago, and it's been a while. It's been a while, and the save still works. I have a heavily modded version of City Skylines with me today. Um, we're not that heavily modded compared to many others. I do have thousands of assets inso installed, a lot of mods installed, but the city runs fine, and I thought to celebrate the fact that City Skylines was released over six years ago, I thought I'd jump in and uh, update my city, make it modern, see if it still worked, see if we can uh, make it even more beautiful, and I mean just flying around here in first person mode, it is already beautiful, uh, but I think we can, we can uh, go that extra mile to make it even better. To be clear, I haven't actually played City Skylines since 2016, basically, uh, and this is essentially the last save I played. I should also say that I did jump into the save yesterday, so I updated a couple of things uh, that are not actually part of uh, how I played back in at the time, and that's of course these fire helicopter depots, I think some police helicopters, and I added some uh, recycling centers all over the place, and also a large uh, crematorium, because apparently my city ha had like massive problems with just bodies uh, stacking up all over the place. So as should be obvious, the city was kind of inspired or planned as a modern kind of utopian circle design here with a lot of park areas, a lot of green areas, and of course high-rise design because at the time there were no European uh, designs and you couldn't even change it in-game. You either played with a European design or not. Or even, I think that came later, so at this this time it was just the, this is the, these were the only buildings available in City Skylines. But nowadays we can actually go ahead and, like, change the different designs, styles, and different uh, districts here, which is really cool. And we might uh, do that in a second, but I think we're going to have a look at some other stuff first. Looks like my industrial area here is burning down, but I don't really mind this industrial area here. We also have some really funny looking bridges here, uh, <laughs> or, I mean, weird connections rather. Uh, this kind of long bridge here follows the entire coast of the current city, which is kind of weird, but whatever. We'll fix that eventually, maybe. Oh yeah, something that I also added yesterday before uh, that was part of these new DLCs that have come out over the years is this hot air balloon thing, and so you have like like these cute balloon tours just flying over the city and doing things. Uh, also, all these DLC have added so much stuff. I I mean, first of all, public transport. Obviously, uh, there used to be buses I think early on and trams and maybe trains. Uh, Metro, I'm not sure, maybe Metro was part of the originals, but now there's like trolley buses, uh, there are of course, or maybe trams came, came later, uh, I don't really remember that. The ferries or ships were there, but now, uh, of course I have a lot of mods here, so, yeah, not all of this is original, but if I click City Skylines here, there are a lot more different things, so you actually have like ferry as uh, inter in inside the s or intra city st transport right airport wise I think there are also a lot more options nowadays so you can like create helicopter and blimp pathways yeah you, ha you have blimps which is cool and you also have cargo airports and cargo airport hubs uh, n I don't know how the game deals with runways st still, right. Unless you download a mod, I still think you have to deal with the fact that they give you a pre-designed runway. But yeah, you also have monorails, which I have not tried uh, anything of. You have cable cars, very cool. Taxis have been around for a while, I think. Tours, though, again, uh, hot air balloons, part of that. 
you can have sightseeing uh, buses around the city um, and here of course you can see the density of tourist areas our inner city has of course the most dense interest points but we also have some stuff scattered around we don't have a park districts yet because that was also added eventually and we also have university um, districts which is a campus area and I think we'll be messing around with that today a little bit uh, to get our city updated and what else we also have postal service which I added a little bit of in the city but I mean it's not that huge of a thing I don't really know what postal service does necessarily I just know that of course uh, if you have access to it higher line value and then public transport hubs that have been added since then. I think this, yeah, this screen was definitely not here before, back in 2015, 2016, so kind of new, but uh, you're right, because you can have like hubs of multiple different um, types of things. And I don't know if this is vanilla or if this is a mod, but it's very cool. And I think this parking area here is just basically uh, a mod, if I'm not mistaken. With the addition of all these things, of course, our budget economy panel has a lot more different options that you can individually fund nowadays, uh, which is, of course, uh, really cool. The cities also now have a lot more policies, of course, with all the DLC and stuff. Uh, free tr public transport was already on from before. We have let go of leisure, I think that was one of the first things, maybe, with the whole nightlife uh, DLC. Then we have, you know, a lot of things about recovery, uh, boosting connections, sustainability, green and park areas and stuff. So that is very nice. I'm gonna have a look at these, uh, not individually in each district right now, because also my districts are quite small at the moment, so I might uh, join those into bigger ones, but all right, so for now, uh, biz big business benefactor was here from before because I want a bunch of high rises and then high tech housing is cool. But now we also mandate the installation of lightning rods, uh, so we you know decrease the chance of fire. We have strong workers unions that increase the happiness of the workforce in the city. We have dolphin safe fishing, which actually impacts uh, citizen happiness by quite a lot. Uh, taxation I haven't touched, power usage, water usage, smoke detector distribution, uh, recycling, parks and recreation, education boost, free pu public transport is there, we recycle plastics, uh, we have a park maintenance boost, and all the libraries do book fairs. So that's what I have activated for now. Oh, something else. So originally in City Skylines, you could only buy nine tiles, so three by three, I believe. And then there was this mod early on that allowed you to buy a full 25 tiles, so five by five. Now there's this mod that allows you to buy a whole 81 tiles. So that's nine by nine and really make a mega city. This is enormous it is gigantic I mean I don't know how many kilometers this is supposed to be but th now you can really I mean it's a proper proper city city size you know you can really have your suburbs and maybe build a properly large airport somewhere uh, in the outskirts or inside the city the way the districts all show up the same policies over and over again is just really annoying here. Maybe my districts are too small, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, kind of redesign those. They're much better. Some rezoning stuff here may have affected our industrial area, but again, not really a fan of the industrial area as it stands, so I don't mind. I remember making this city as walkable as I could. Uh, citizens used to really like walking. I'm not sure they do that anymore. I mean, I do have quite a lot of t public transport and some big highways and stuff, so shouldn't really be a problem nowadays. And look at that. I think that's uh, Cockness Tonet that exists in Stockholm, but 
placed in our beautiful Diamantia. Traffic wise our city seems to have a little bit of a bottleneck up here not really my doing too much and then in the city itself we have some uh, crossings here that are heavily trafficked but I think we can probably do something about that. So I have these giant paths. Oh, look, another fire. Wow, this city is a disaster. But uh, I have a lot of pathways throughout the city uh, encouraging people to walk. And I think this would be nicer if we just made it into like a, a bike lane, bicycle path. Only bikes are allowed it's on these paths. They offer access to pedestrians. Is there no like middle ground? where it's both. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade my little paths here into bicycle paths. See if uh, that has any effect. Oh, it's so annoying. I have to like rebuild the actual connections. In the city center itself, I think I'll leave, of course, these uh, walkable paths. Won't force people to go on bikes. It's just these longer ones like across here if you're going to w your workplace. I know this is super steep and uh, that's just a feature of early city skylines I guess, <laughs> but if I ever continue on the save if we will eventually maybe go ahead and fix that, but now it is um, a um, bikes or a bike lane bike path thing. We are gonna go ahead and encourage biking, see if that also has any effect here you can already go to traffic and maybe watch this kind of live? I don't know. It's probably not going to make too much of a difference until we actually add bike lanes. Uh, I'm going to hope that they use the sidewalks, maybe? We could sacrifice the beautiful trees here uh, on these major alleys and actually just add a bike lane instead. I wish there was a way to combine uh, different types actually. I've noticed there's one metro station here in uh, just in the central city towards the east that is connected. I mean it's working but I don't know what the problem is exactly or like how, is it connected? I can't really seem to edit my train lines too well here because uh, whenever I zoom in they kind of just disappear. I don't know if that has to do with if I just go page down, page up. I don't know. Also, alright, oh yeah, it's kind of unintuitive for that train. Like it wiggles around kind of fun weirdly. But yeah, the trains are stopping in the station so I don't really know what this symbol means. It generally on uh, roads means that it's not connected to something else. All right, let's go ahead and make this upgrade here, see if it does anything. Uh, of course, noise pollution will increase, but alas, that is a sacrifice that our citizens will have to make for better transport. The thing is, I don't know if it's like, if it's heavy traffic that's the problem, or if it's um, people. Oh, look at that. Now we actually have a lot more bikes. And it looks like we have actually alleviated quite a bit of traffic here. We do still have a bottleneck over here, so I'll go ahead and maybe make this uh, connection up here. A bicycle lane connection. And maybe we'll have this entire roundabout be... Um, bike lanes? I don't know. Oh right, we don't actually need to upgrade the entire way here because I do have this connection that takes us around. You know what, maybe just right here in the center we should keep the trees uh, for aesthetic purposes and I don't really see that many people biking here so uh, we'll do that. It's only here on the outside. Oh, we can do priority roads? I don't know what that does but definitely activating that. Let's see Aspen, yeah, that's definitely a priority road here, and I don't know if I would extend it all the way there. I'd probably do it something like this, actually. All right, all right. You can see all the like r people and routes, things using it. You can see like to all toggle junctions. 
and stuff, and then you can also adjust the roads, but uh, that is actually very nice. So we have subways, we have bike lanes, we have pedestrian walks and stuff, but do we have underground bicycle paths? I don't believe so. It is time. Let's do that. I'm totally getting carried away. <laughs> My plan for this was just to, like, do a park district and then build a university campus. And I'm gonna get to it, but I just want to have my bicycle paths first. I love good transport. Behold! These beautiful... or not these, it's just one big bike path. Starts up here, or ends, and then continues straight across all the subway lines, up and down, up and down. Crisscrosses and connects to our main little... Uh, bike bridge thing here. Yeah, the transition's kind of weird. Maybe I should, uh, I wonder what happens if I kind of, like, landscape that. Will it affect anything? Level terrain. Ooh. I have a feeling this is not gonna go well. Brush size. Oh, smaller. Oh, okay. Nope, that was not, uh, Okay. Oh, no. No. Can we, like, undo? Is there... Okay. It can be undone. Wait, did I undo my path here? No. Alright. I'll figure this out. Ah, okay. So park areas and uh, campus areas are areas. They're not districts. So you can actually paint them over something else, uh, which is very interesting. So, for example, if we take uh, our paint park area here, I could... actually, let me double check here. Oh, actually, yeah. Let me... so, right. You can have leisure areas that specialize. That's why they were so small, actually. I think I... Uh, or my districts before, because they were so niched and stuff. So, self-sufficient buildings. Recycle their waste. Okay. All right. Cool. Anyway, park. Um, right. We we're gonna paint here, for example. If I paint this as a park. Oops. Bear with me here. Right now, the park area is actually the name is right on top of district area. So I'm gonna change that. So I've painted this area here that is just a path or an area be behind buildings here that was a kind of a park before when I made the city and here we can see I guess the policies in the park. So we have I wonder does can that be changed from here? No. Maybe that's a special thing in and of itself here. So if I go animal ethics Aha, uh -huh. okay, so yeah, these are the policies. This is where you activate them. Right, so this is a park that now has uh, fireworks at night, but it doesn't actually have any park buildings, and then you start, have to start adding park buildings, I guess. So if I add a swinging boat... Right, the area must have a main gate. Okay, this is more like entertainment stuff, but say nature reserve. Do I need... Do I actually need to have a main gate? Campfire site. Must have a main gate. Okay, interesting. Uh, but props, prop-wise though, I can, I guess, just uh, place... Oh. No? I don't know what's... why I can't... I mean, it's a brush right now. I guess that's the problem. I think I fixed the flow of traffic here. Totally ignored the park for there for a second. But I realized with this whole junctions thing, you can actually uh, manually set uh, which stop signs are active and stuff, so I have made this a proper roundabout where the people in the roundabout don't actually have to stop for the people coming on. I don't see any fireworks. Alright, so we're finally going to create a park here, and I think we might actually overlap that with a campus area. I'm going to move some of these uh, utility buildings that I have in the region Oh, you just your random floating truck here. Just floating through the park. Nothing, nothing bad. 
All right, we have a basic layout for a city park here. It's uh, very large, but uh, we ha we can fill it with quite a few things. All right, there are a lot of things here, like the gazebos that need electricity, and I just wish that city skylines didn't have the whole like power lines. Why can't they be underground power lines? You know, uh, doesn't. It's just frustrating, but I will, uh, you can actually build, uh, like, mix kind of park type, so we're gonna build some amusement park stuff, maybe some zoo stuff, and it's all gonna be one nice big park, so we probably won't have electricity issues. Alright, so we have a lot of animals, I think all the animals possible, bird houses, moose and reindeer enclosure, antelope house, bison enclosure, elephants, uh, monkeys, Rhinos, of course, etc., etc. And actually, oh, before we forget, we should have an animal ethics policy because, of course, we have animals here. I want uh, celebrations, we want night tours here, and uh, amusement park buildings are maintained super well, causing them to be even more fun. Um, all right, and uh huh, recycled garbage, of course. We are gonna place a little bit more things here, uh, obviously, also to hide these things that happen in the city skyline still that have to do with flattening and are quite ugly. I mean, I understand that buildings have to be on flat surfaces, but it's quite jarring the way land rises still. All right, time to cover this area with a bunch of small plants and stuff. Let's make this a natural looking area with lots of nature. There's a little bit of water missing and at some point I'll probably pump in some water uh, into this area and make a little pond or lake. All right, already looking much, much better. Dense vegetation here, really looking like a Tropical forest, maybe a little bit too many palm trees, but eh, whatever. Let's see here if I can add a little bit of water. Did it do anything? Oh, there we go. It's showing up. I wonder... I mean, it's quite unlevel terrain, so it won't be the most beautiful of ponds here. Uh, but it, it's working might flood some stuff. Oh, oh, it's quite big. Okay. That's not what I want. Can we undo that? Hello? Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Oh, you know what the problem is? I set a water source, I guess, and it just, like, keeps going until you delete it, so... Yeah, we're ruining quite a few things here, but it's fine. The water will just evaporate eventually, right? Not the most beautiful of aquatic buildings or things ever built, but it's here. Uh, it exists. I guess that's what matters, right? I'm actually going to go ahead and place a series of museums here that are technically kind of more like campus uh, stuff, but uh, yeah, let's see, art gallery over here, and the technology museum, oh, that's the park building, okay, we'll put the technology one maybe over here. I keep forgetting how big this map is, I mean, look at that, that is just... Incredible. We're gonna move the aquarium from south side over into the park area, mostly because it, I mean, it just fits in with everything, right? So, what is the zoning here? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, we won't be able to cover all of it because I guess we're missing a smaller street. This must be such a strange place to be fishing at. I mean, <laughs> how long is your line, man? Oh, well. All right, I think I'm gonna place the university campus over here. Um, 
So then we can maybe like... I mean, technically, we can cover this as the university campus as well. We'll say that this park is part of the campus somehow. Uh, obviously, it's a zoo, so it's a research area, and then they added a little bit of, I don't know, recreational stuff. Uh, so that's my thinking. Diamantia University. So this is the university administration building, uh, and there are different kinds of universities, it seems. So you can have a liberal arts college, a trade school, and then you have varsity sports stuff and museums, which we've already placed there. Uh, of course, there's still like university buildings over here, like the basic stuff, uh, but I think those are different. Um, and I'm not sure you can have like a multi specialized university in the same area, but we'll see. Okay, so the park is actually a um, like part of the university, like the university and park areas are, they can't overlap each other like districts can because they're technically kind of the same thing, uh, which is slightly unfortunate. I kind of get it, but it'd be nice to see a third layer where you can mix parks, districts, and then university districts. So it looks like you have to choose an administration building and the administration buildings are a trade school or a liberal arts college. I don't think there is, like, a, just a blanket university, it seems. And yeah, it looks like you can't actually mix the two types of universities, which is slightly frustrating, but okay, whatever. Totally gonna pretend like that's a normal thing in the world where there's always specialized at one thing. Maybe it's a very American thing, I don't know. Here in Europe, at least, there are, there are very... Uh, diverse and general universities. Wait, the way that the university administration building is described makes it feel like... Yes, that is a different... Oh, do we have two universities going on right now? Oh, that's what happened. Okay. There's a small little bubble over there. Whoopsie. Alright, well, we will have... This will be a liberal arts campus and I'm afraid this building here is about to disappear. Wait, can I... No, I have to actually delete the building, I guess. Okay. Alright, there we are. We have a campus. Uh, this is the main building over here. I guess the only access right now is everyone has to walk into campus. But, you know, makes it look kind of cute. Obviously, lots of trees. I should probably add a bunch of props, but I'm not at that detail level. It's also, also part, honestly, of the reason I never really played uh, City Skylines too much on my channel was because I see so many creators out there that are vastly superior to me and so much more patient in placing down small props, making everything look amazing, uh, downloading thousands and thousands upon mods, and just dedicating, you know, everything they've got to, to making it look nice. I am a little bit lazier. I kind of just place things, make them uh, kind of feel okay, but they're not, you know, if you really zoom in, they're not that great on a detailed level. Let's build an aquatic centrum here right on the edge of campus and, I mean, really close to water. Obviously there's a bunch of really dirty water down here, as you'll see in a second. Um, yeah, this is where we... We're gonna have to deal with this at some point, maybe build some nicer cleaning plants, because that's also been added uh, over the years. So you have, like, eco-friendly stuff, some really cool cleaning facilities and all of that, but... Uh, but yeah, oh, apparently, how don't you have electricity? Come on, you're like, right there. Zero, oh, what if I, no, this is a winter, eh, wish I could play something, just small updraft tower, like something temporary. Oh, I know, this should connect the, the two areas, right, so if I put a track and field here, Will the electricity flow is the question also. Can I do this? Uh, electricity. Yes, connected. Excellent. 
Ah, oh, so universities also have policies. Universal education. Let's see, visiting scholars. The campus hires various lecturers and scholars to teach on the campus. Uh, increases faculty bonus. Yeah, whatever. Free lunch. Um, well, let's see. Student healthcare. Free healthcare. Nice. Uh, we'll have a fan club for the sports and yeah let's do that give a research grant dissertation ooh what's this so academic work uh huh okay so you like uh huh totally worth it okay we'll do a dissertation first and then varsity sports what's this ticket prices and what's this? Cheerleading budget and coaching staff. Uh, let's have ticket prices at 20. Let's have coaching staff at 1. And the fund. Eh, well, this is good enough for now. Team color. So we can choose. Oh, wait. Team identity. We are the. I don't know. Mmm, alligators? Tropical climate, maybe. And team color, we can actually choose any color here. Let's go, like... That kind of red here. Alright. So, one total lost. Okay, so that's because we have those facilities. That is really cool. I love that the way we expanded also fits perfectly into our transportation si or public transportation system because we have a uh, metro line that ends right in front of university campus and we have one that ends right in front of the uh, entrance to the park. I must say though that I'm awestruck at how well the game is running how big you can make a city now with uh, certain mods, of course, and just the amount of content that has been added over the years. I, I, uh, it's fascinating. Um, also, obviously, my computer has upgraded since actually, since the last time I played. So uh, there's a, there's a big difference in quality of the game on release. I mean, it was a great game then, but quite intense on your PC if you're building something big, right? And now, uh, six years later, it's just uh, running perfectly and beautifully, and it's just so much fun. I'm really... I almost feel bad for not having played it more in these past few years. So, is City Skyline still worth it with all its DLCs? six years after release. I'd say absolutely, unless City Skylines 2 is uh, in the works and coming to be released in the near future, I'd say give it a shot, this is totally worth it, and even if City Skylines 2 were to be released in the near future, I'd imagine it'd take them a while to actually develop it, so in the meantime, uh, it would probably be worth picking this up anyway, because look at the beauties you can make, and just imagine what we could make on this save if we continued expanding. I mean, all the suburbs we could build, all the beautiful, beautiful things we could explore just on this map, which, by the way, is old. There are so much nicer maps that you can build on nowadays. Just added this beautiful garden here uh, on this side of the park towards the water. Um, it's a very nice monument. And also a uh, university or an academic library rather uh, facing this way and extended the campus a little bit. Uh, of course the hills start over here so it's kind of hewn into the hill uh, foothills there but it's alright. It looks okay. Oh, and a central park, that's pretty cool. Makes sense to have it here. Oh, I just realized my pond is dry. Are there still fishermen? Yeah, there are, okay. I guess it kind of evaporated away, so we have to like pump water in. All right, so we've uh, placed a fresh water outlet here. So it does not, not auto deactivate, which is very frustrating. You'd think that a thing like this would 
you know, oh, sensing that it has reached a certain level and then it just stops, but alas, no. Anyway, that was a little bit of a tangent. Thank you so much for watching. This is where we're going to wrap it up for today. If you want to see more City Skylines, please let me know. I'd maybe love to actually keep playing it. This has been Yang Gapster. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Have a great time. Farewell.